Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the real reason that there is such a divide and why unsleeved media is so disliked by other YouTubers. Now, I don't dislike him. He has some very good points. But many YouTubers like Tolarian, like Weds, they have isolated and pretty much talk smack on him. Now, unsleeved media is a big proponent of smack talking. But it's very upfront for Tolarian and Wedge. I feel like they are passive aggressive many times. So one of the reasons is there's a different perception of who they are as actual individuals uh, outside the magic. So making a 15 minute YouTube video once a week uh, in Wedge's case, once a month, you get to control how you're, how you come off. Um, now, editing, scripting, and all this good stuff. The best example I have is the Tolarian video of "Can I Have a Dollar?" That was extremely well written, and it reached its goal because many people donated him more than a dollar. Now, I don't script any of my content. I just kind of talk with you guys. And that's why I feel like the live streaming after I'm on ban from live streaming will be kind of fun to do. I used to live stream all the time. But a lot of people do control how they appear. And that's why they don't get involved. Tolarian Community College has taken the stance of I review cardboard and cardboard accessories. I don't cover drama and I try not to comment on things I know nothing about. This sounds in bad faith. I'm going to call it peace out. So whenever it is a difficult topic to talk about such as sexual predators, child predators, cardstock, puker trade, I was just reading another Reddit on Pico Trade and how they're auto charging. Guess what other promoted sponsor is still auto charging? Monthly Magic. So in Pico Trade, you have to cancel via PayPal. Otherwise, it's been charging you this entire time. One of the most uh, searched phrases for Pico Trade is how do I cancel it? Or Pico Trade keeps charging me. How do I get it to stop? And these are two products that are promoted, that have been promoted by both Weds and Tolarian, Pico Trade, and a monthly magic box multiple times. So you have a clear, okay, this is magic. But then on Twitter, they're posting these holier than thou statements all the time. And they're saying that their Twitter is divergent from their YouTube videos. And that is absolutely true. Their Twitter is a more, it's a better indicator of how they actually feel about the community and what they are, their stances. They take very, very hard left stances on their Twitter feeds. Uh, recently, it was Dot, you know, the discussion over that. Obviously, I made a video on that. Wedge is very opposed to that word and he calls people who use that language idiots right after receiving uh, close to $80,000 in donations. Uh, Tularian has pictures of aged steak, uh, his fancy meals, fancy alcoholic beverages. I don't know if that was Tularian or that was someone else, but I know that aged steak is Tularian, and a lot of you will ask, why does it matter? Well, that's your actual personality. You want to show off. You want to show that you have the nicer things in life. I'm extremely humble. Um, and I could show you some stuff and you would be mildly impressed. But there's a reason I choose to live in one of the poorest places in America because I feel like I can do the best. I can do, do the most good. And in particular... I live in a neighborhood where they receive probably one or two dump dogs. Right now, there is a chihuahua, there is a black mutt lab, and then there is multiple pit bulls. And they get dumped here all the time. 
so it's difficult. I don't, I'm not going to go on too much of a tangent. I can save that for the live stream, I guess. But yeah, the Manalik is a, another very good example of someone who talks a big game and literally no one wants to play with him. <laughs> he, he says there's three to four local stores and he doesn't feel comfortable and neither of these local stores will accommodate him. I, I've never had that problem before. Uh, I've never had a problem where a local store does not want me to be there um, because for whatever reason I spend, you know, I do spend quite a bit of money uh, to support my local game stores. But here you have the Manalik who has a problem. His local game store is closing. I wonder why that is given how popular the Manalik is. He should be able to drive traffic to the store. And now... He is looking for more stores, but it turns out no store wants him. Like, right? So, interesting. Uh, honestly, media, I think he, I'm, I'm glad he bought up this issue because people, the same, I mean, these are the same people. Uh, Alex Bercini cheated multiple times, banned, cheated multiple times, banned. Now is currently playing Magic and is one of the most famous Magic players. You don't. I mean, most Magic players know who he is. Uh, let's take another example. Um, another example, his name begins with an E. And he had a wife, had a kid, cheated. Girlfriend, new kid with girlfriend. Second kid, cheated. Ran away with an employee of his uh, that he was managing. And that's where he is now. Um, the other person who begins with an F... Dated the most famous female Magic player, cheated multiple times, texted probably half a dozen, if not a hundred plus individuals. We will never know the actual number. And he, but I got to the point that he, to save time, he was copying and pasting the same romantic text. So that should tell you, like, at what point did you copy and paste stuff that you would save time? At like six, maybe 12? So, this is exactly right. They're fooled by the illusion of niceness. Some of the most, um, the best boss I've ever had, he was not nice, but he was fair. So let me repeat that again. All you can really ask of your friends, your family, or your boss is for them to be fair. Nice people. Alex Bercini is incredibly nice. He smiles at you while he steals away that championship money. He steals away that power nine. Weds, incredibly nice for the one hour or the 10 minutes he appears each month on his YouTube channel. <laughs> but not really supportive of local game stores. He has mentioned many times that he loves Walmart. He loves that Walmart and he himself doesn't have a local game store. So like, let's talk about local game stores and the community the community is not on Twitter, at least not in my opinion. It's not the Reddit community. The community is your people who you see at your local game store, people who you buy cards from in collections, people who you play magic with, people who you go to pre-release. That's the actual community. So Wizards of the Coast is so stuck up on this concept of the e-community, which is people who don't buy their product, and don't really give two dams about the actual community, which is your local game store, that they let them control them. Um, so let me ask you this. Weds doesn't have a community. This uh, Mana League doesn't have a community. Why is this the case? If they're so popular and they love Magic so much and they're playing Magic and all these new deck techs that they're doing, how is it that they don't have a local game store to play at? Now, many of you will say, hey, I don't have a local game store. I play casually at home, and that should be the majority of you. Uh, that should be at least 90% of you, according to data. However, you guys don't have YouTube channels. You guys don't have YouTube channels about community. Therefore, the concept of it is just so beyond. Um, anyway... Let's talk about just how funny, like, that. I know this is meant as a joke, but Weds, 
after collecting eighty thousand dollars, he jokes about starting an Indiegogo. <laughs> so he's, he collected eighty thousand in GoFundMe. Makes sense, right? You gotta get that money while people. So, all right, if you made it to this point, I'm gonna be real serious with you guys. People don't like other successful people. I know this, and I noticed that when I was unsuccessful, people liked me more. And as I became more successful, I joined a team in San Francisco, and we did very well、uh, for ourselves.、Uh, we made a piece of software that was for PPC.、Uh, that's what I have a war- won Google Award for. That's what they flew me to Ireland to study and, I guess, experiment. The more successful you are, outside of your family and your actual friends, maybe a handful.、Um, if you have more than seven actual friends, they're probably not real friends,、uh, in my opinion, at least. So they don't actually want you to be successful. They get jealous and they get angry and they get green. And I think that's the case here: is the most successful YouTubers. Um, are not successful in real life. Reality is something that will bite them, and they're not good at reality.、Um, many of them are very poor at planning. Some of them don't have health insurance, although they have pre-existing conditions that they have seen doctors about. Some of them are willing to travel, and they get married without seeing. I mean, to be quite honest, like I don't know how. Someone gets married that quickly after one GP Vegas. Now, yes, you can chat online, blah 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 blah. I get that. I've been engaged twice, and I'm glad that I've had the time to live with the ex fiancés and to know about them, know what they care about. You know, the first engagement was all throughout law school, and the second engagement was during the startup for two and a half years. If you're going to commit to somebody for a long time and going to get married, wouldn't you want to live with them for a long period of time? Wouldn't you want to get to, them to know them better? I mean, going to a GP and meeting someone who I assume is living in London, I don't get that. And then getting married right after you just had a massive、uh, surgery, a life-threatening danger, like. I'm trying to piece together like how in reality this works. Like, you have student loans. You obviously have medical loans that you want to get paid off from donations. You live at home. Um, I I don't. And again, I'll say this for the 18th time because a lot of you won't understand. I have a lot of entry level employees, and they live at home when they first start. But I tell them, hey, you know, I hope that you will make enough money here. Your learner skill. You'll be successful, and you eventually can get your own place. And I sit them down. We do finances. A lot of them don't have cars. We talk about how to finance a car, and we sit there and we talk about this stuff because it's important. Now, does everyone appreciate that? No,、um, they don't.、Um, I find that my original core、uh, team of five is, you know, we would do a lot for each other, but you know, new people, yeah, we'll see. And you, it comes down to reality. Like people, I think in the community who are celebrities and e celebrities and famous, they don't handle reality very well. Because if you think about it, what person, what parent would want their kids to become a professional magic player with the understanding that magic players don't have decent salaries, they live at home. And I mean, have you seen the magic documentary? Like, I would expect these people to at least be like having like, a, if not the great apartment, just you know a one bedroom apartment. But that's when you don't know when your next paycheck will be, or the next time you win a tournament. That's not responsible living. That's not dealing with reality. That's not dealing with bills. I remember reading an article from Todd Anderson, and his wife wanted him to deliver pizzas, and he wanted to do it. Because he wanted to spend all his time being a professional magic player, he wasn't even criticized. I mean, he was criticized by out people outside the community, but everyone everyone inside the community thought this was the greatest thing. This was the greatest thing ever since bread. Way to go, Todd! Like way to go.、Um, 
So I think the reality of it is kind of um, crazy, in my opinion, where you, you do have the idolization of people who, for lack of a better term, they where are you going to go with magic? What if magic were to die right now? What skills would you have learned? What if we took away all your donations? Like, can you get a job? Anyway, I've been mean enough. Bye, guys.